So in today's tutorial, I'm going to create this morph effect where we basically explode from one uh, piece of text into another. And I'm just going to keep this very simple. So I'm just going to start with a fresh Cinema 4D scene. And the first step is to create a piece of mo text. And I'm just going to reduce the size slightly. I'm going to reduce the size down to 100 centimeters. And I'm going to type quick VFX like that. I'm going to change the font into um, Space Age is the font I use usually. So what I'm going to do is next I'm going to create a poly effects. And I'm going to make that a child of the Motex like that. Now the poly effects basically needs an effector to work. So I'm going to create a random effector. And we get this instant explosion and just go to the poly effects effector tab and make sure the randoms added. So we can basically control the kind of um, spread through the random effector. I'm just going to keep the values relatively small. So I'm just going to turn that off for now and I'm going to have a look at my mo text. Basically need more subdivisions in my text. So as you can see the front faces have uh, no divisions, it's just like one eng on. So if you go to subdivision, you can actually add segments. So I'm just going to add four seg subdivisions to the width. And then where it says intermediate points, I'm going to choose subdivided. So we get some more uh, divisions horizontally. And I'm going to go to caps and choose fillet cap, just to add a bit more detail. Radius, I'm just going to keep it small like this and maybe give it two steps each like that. And where it says type angons, I'm going to use quadrangles, regular grid, and then I'm just going to lower the width until I can see enough detail. So I think four, four seems good. So if I render this, we've got a nice looking piece of text. So I'm just going to turn random back on and as you can see the pieces are a lot smaller and more detailed. So I'm going to go to the poly effects, fall off and I'm going to choose linear and I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees like this, 90, hold down a uh, shift while you rotate. and. I'm just going to invert the fall off. I want to come from this direction. So I'm just going to keyframe this. Um, say start at 10 frames, keyframe X, and then 80 frames. I want it to move all the way over here. Keyframe X position. Something like that. And just going to increase the fall off a tad to 70%. Just going to play that back. So uh, as you can see these pieces are static so I'm going to add a time effector which is just going to add like a bit of movement to these uh, exploded segments. So I'm just going to go and add a time effector. Go to the parameters and might add a bit of rotation 5%. Go to position and I'm going to add some position so I'm just going to play that back so as you can see now the pieces are moving out just gives it a bit more kind of life so that'll do and finally I'm going to add a plane effector and this is basically going to control scale so I might just add scale at the end here, get rid of position and I'm going to check scale, uniform scale and I'm going to set it to minus one. So what basically happens now is when I play this animation back it explodes and it instantly disappears. So that's basically the general setup. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to group all these together, select everything and choose Alt-G and I'm going to call this Start Group. I'm then going to control drag this to create a copy 
and I'm going to call the copy end group like that. And I'm just going to turn off the start group. So in the end group, I'm going to change the word because this is going to be the word we're going to end with. So quick VFX is eight letters. So I'm just going to choose something that's going to be a similar kind of length. So tutorial is also eight letters. Seems to work quite well. I'm just going to click away. And that's my second word. Now all I have to do is go to poly effects, fall off and uncheck invert. And then I'm basically going to delete uh, these free effectors, which I copied over. And I'm just going to use the same effectors from the start group. So I'm just going to drag those in. So it goes random time plane scale. So I'm just going to drag random time plane scale, the exact same effectors from the start group. And I'm just going to play this animation back now. Whoops. So what we need to do is just uh, make start group visible again. Just play this animation back. And now we basically get this very cool kind of morph effect. And because they're sharing the same effectors, it just makes it easier to kind of manage everything. You can use like uh, your own effectors here, but um, I find this works quite well. And I basically found that um, it's good to kind of keep these um, particles quite close together because as soon as you start kind of, um, because as soon as you give them too much space, uh, you start to kind of lose the illusion. You can see that it's kind of empty in the middle there. So I just kind of keep them quite, maybe a bit of scale along Y, but then quite close for uh, X and Z. And it just gives it that kind of nice um, close effect. I'll just play it back with the Golrad shading. So um, I'll leave the materials and everything up to you. But uh, that's a very kind of simple way to set this effect up. I hope that wasn't too complicated. And thanks for watching.